Hey, what's up, guys? It's Film Geek here, and I just got back from watching Paranormal Activity 2. Uh, it is no surprise that last year I loved Paranormal Activity. I thought it was an absolutely amazing movie. Probably the scariest, or at least creepiest movie that I've ever seen. Uh, and I think I gave it either four and a half out of five or five out of five last year. Um, it was just a stunning horror movie, and it was made for only 15000 bucks. I thought it was, like, the second best movie of the year last year. Um, so, of course, I was going to go tonight and see Paranormal Activity 2. I was disappointed. Um, first off, Paranormal Activity 2 is very much a prequel to the first one, as opposed to being a sequel. Um, second, there were far less creepy moments. Okay, Paranormal Activity, there was, like, little creepy shit throughout the entire movie that slowly built up, all right? In Paranormal Activity 2, there's a few small things, not very many, there's a few small things, then there's some huge scares that even had me jumping out of my seat, um, and I don't, I don't really jump at, at jumping type moments, um, but I felt my heart, like, pop into my throat. Um, however, even with the couple of really big scares, I still felt it was nowhere near as scary as the original, uh, because the original had, you know, had that build up and the intensity built was not only building up, but holding and maintaining. Um, whereas Paranormal Activity 2, it was like, you'd be bored for a little bit then you'd start to get an edge get bored, start to get an edge, something huge would happen, you'd be scared out of your flipping mind, and then all of a sudden you're bored again for like the next 15 minutes before something happens again. Um, it was really, really short. Uh, I think it was like 85 minutes. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe 85 minutes. I'm sorry, I'm yawning because I just got back from Paranormal Activity 2 and it's like 11.30 at night now and... I usually go to bed at midnight because I'm I'm old. Um, it didn't it didn't keep that intensity throughout the entire thing. It was a lot of lackluster stuff. And uh, they have more cameras in this movie, but it's like they insist on showing every single camera every single time. Like every time it's a new day, like or a new night, I should say, it will cycle through all like six or seven security cameras and it's like most of the time you don't even give a shit there's no point in showing me every single room in the house just go to the room where stuff's gonna happen like it would have been about 15 minutes shorter if it would have just gone to what happened like it would have not even been long enough to be a feature film which is the only reason they did it um and you could tell that they were pretty much just killing time um, to try and make it long enough to be in theaters. Um, the acting, I think, was probably a little bit better than the first one, even though it had some of the same actors as the first movie. The, the main guy and the main girl from Paranormal Activity are in Paranormal Activity 2, because, like I said, it's kind of more of a prequel, and this family that Paranormal Activity 2 follows is the sister, yeah, is the sister of the main girl from Paranormal Activity 1. Um... When it gets to the end, it does kind of like a cool little cross between the two movies, but it still wasn't cool enough to save it. A lot of stuff in Paranormal Activity to explain what happened in Paranormal Activity One because, like I said, it's, it's a, it happens beforehand, um, so it was like it explained more and it made more sense, but it just was not as scary. Uh, I give Paranormal Activity Two. Uh, a three out of five, as opposed to the four and a half that Paranormal Activity 1 received from me last year. Uh, so that's my review, Paranormal Activity 2, three out of five. Uh, still check it out, but don't expect as much as the first one. Bigger scares, not as many scares.